Chapter 25 God's Benevolence God gives to us regularly, freely, abundantly. Every earthly blessing is from His hand. What if the Lord would cease to bestow His gifts upon us? What a cry of wretchedness, suffering, and want would go up from the earth. We need daily the unfailing flow of Jehovah's goodness. This world was established and is sustained by the compassionate love of the Creator. God is the giver of all we have. He calls upon us to return to Him a portion of the abundance He has bestowed on us. Think of the care He gives the earth, sending the rain and sunshine in their season to cause vegetation to flourish. He bestows His favors on the just and on the unjust. Shall not the recipients of His blessings show their gratitude by giving of their means to help suffering humanity? There are many souls to be brought to the saving knowledge of the truth. The prodigal is far from his father's house, perishing with hunger. He is to be the object of our compassion. Do you ask, how does God regard those who are perishing in their sins? I point you to Calvary. God gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Read John 3:16. Think of the Savior's matchless love. While we were yet sinners, Christ died to save us from eternal death. In return for the great love wherewith Christ has loved you, you are to bring to Him your thank offering. You are to make a gratitude offering of yourself, your time, your talents, your means. All are to flow to the world in a tide of love for the saving of the lost. Jesus has made it possible for you to accept His love and in happy cooperation with Him to work under its fragrant influence. He requires you to use your possessions in unselfish service that His plan for the salvation of souls shall be carried forward with power. He expects you to give your undivided energies to His work. Would you make your property secure? Place it in the hand that bears the nail print of the crucifixion. Retain it in your possession, and it will be to your eternal loss. Give it to God, and from that moment it bears His inscription. It is sealed with His immutability. Would you enjoy your substance? Then use it for the blessing of the suffering.